Today we see that it isn't human ingenuity or persuasive language that brings people to Christ. It is the power of the Holy Spirit. Hi, my name is Keith and this is my daily walk. Today my daily walk takes me into 1 Corinthians chapter 2. But before we go there, I want to thank you for listening and watching these videos. And if you like what you see and it encourages you, then please like, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends. It would be greatly appreciated. So 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. On my Bible, it has chapter titles or chapter headings, and it kind of gives an idea of what the next few verses are all about. And in this, it says that it is Paul's reliance upon the Holy Spirit. So even though the Apostle Paul was a brilliant uh, writer, he was a powerful missionary and evangelist, and he was a great communicator, even though he was educated and um, knew the Torah, knew the story of Christ in ways that probably you and I will never even understand, even though all that was part of Paul's um, makeup, he still relied on the Holy Spirit. He still relied on the power of God and the power of the cross rather than his learning and knowledge. He went to the Areopagus and debated um, there and it doesn't really say what the outcome was, but um, my thinking is that when he's writing this letter that he is saying, you can go and debate with some of the most brilliant minds on the planet but what really brings someone to Christ is the simple message of the cross. So let's read through those verses. Starting in verse 1, And when I came to you, brethren, I did not come with superiority of speech or wisdom, proclaiming to you the testimony of God, for I determined to know nothing among you except Christ Jesus and Him crucified. I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my message and my preaching were not in persuasive words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith would not rest on the wisdom of men, but on the power of God. In this section, Paul continues that the way to be saved or the, the power of Christianity is in the message of the cross. And that message is something that the world opposes greatly. In the Greco-Roman world, one of the ways to um, promote yourself or to claim your fame, so to speak, or to be a prominent member in the culture was to have the best rhetoric. We even see that today, whether it be YouTubers, whether it be you know the media or whatever it is, the best rhetoric makes the most intriguing content. And so Paul understood that. But once again, he turns that human logic upside down. And he says in these verses, he didn't come with wisdom, he didn't come with knowledge, he didn't come with the best rhetoric. He came to the Corinthians and said, it is the power of the cross that saves. He's also the writer who said, the foolish of the world will shame the wise and the weak of the world will shame the strong. So the message that he brings is the simple message of Christ crucified. If you remember yesterday's message, I talked about the fact that the message of the cross is folly to the world, but it is the power of God to those who are being saved. The people who receive the message of the cross, they're not intellectuals, they aren't people of great wisdom and knowledge or great business minds. They are those people like you and me who just hear the simple message of the cross and believe it. They receive God's grace. So if you believe that you have to have an intellectual argument in order to share the gospel, then I would encourage you to read through these verses and really get a grasp on what Paul is saying. He's saying it's not intelligence, it's not intellect, it's not Bible college that gets us to be able to go out and let people know about the message of the cross. 
He's saying it's our own personal testimony. It's our weakness. It's our fear. It's our challenges that we go through that say, I was in this place and someone shared the message of the gospel with me. And it's really that simple. If God is opening up a person's heart, it doesn't matter if you have lofty words or you just share the simple message of Christ crucified and risen for their sins and for yours. A simple testimony can be all that it, all that it takes in order to bring somebody to a saving faith. It's reliance on the power of God and not our own. So today I encourage you just really be in prayer about the things of the Lord that he has put onto your heart that you can share with others. I know for me, I often will just share some simple things in my life that I've overcome in the power of God as a testimony to those around me. I know there's guys I work with, there's people that I've encountered, I've done um, some evangelism, I'm not the greatest evangelist, but sometimes it's just a matter of sharing a simple message that says, Jesus loves you, he loves me, and I encourage you today to just step out in faith and share the simple message of the gospel. The Apostle Paul, he was well learned, he was a Pharisee of Pharisees, he was grew up in the best schools, and when he just shares the message of the gospel is when the most power happens in his life, and it happens in the life of those who receive it. I encourage you to walk in faith, and if you need any prayer or resources from us, you can always connect through our website. Daily in Christ is here to serve you and to encourage you as you walk daily in Christ. Have a blessed day.